Hey everybody, it's John, back with another episode here out at the farm. Today we're going to do some projects. We've got a beautiful 50 plus degree day here in mid-March. we got king cutter disc that I purchased. This disc is a king cutter. It's pretty heavy duty. It's three point hitch, but it's six and a half foot wide, 18 inch. It's got these kind of, I don't know if you can see this here, but it's got some spiked disc here in the front and the back is smooth and you can put it at three different angles front and back uh, on how much you want to use so disc caro here this is really going to upgrade from my old one my old one was kind of at the end of the use that i could use it for using i'm trying to use it on six or eight acres every year i really should probably look into a 10 or 12 foot transport disc the main thing holding me back is just how do i get it to the farm uh, I guess I could pull it to the farm. Uh, but in the meantime, I found this is a great deal. Uh, this thing can go for over $2,000. Uh, I found it on Facebook Marketplace. It was $500, but it was missing parts. Uh, it's missing the 3 inch by 3 inch rear beams because uh, this guy uh, that was selling it had on an old Ford tractor and it was too heavy for his three-point hitch to lift up, so he had to take the rear parts off, and once he took the rear parts off, he said a buddy of his borrowed the rear pieces, and that was the end of those. But I, he had all the U-bolts and so forth, but I got a brother that works in the steel industry, and I got some pieces cut that should match it, and I painted those. Unfortunately, in my memory, I thought it was supposed to be king cutter yellow, but looking at it now uh, obviously it should be black but we'll do black and gold for the old Steelers uh, and it'll still it, it's protected with a coat of primer we got the hole drilled in it like we should and we're gonna put this thing together so that here in about a month month and a half we'll be ready to use this thing out on the farm yeah so the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna work on putting the bar through and then we'll work on putting each individual gang in. That's a little more stable there. Beautiful. I've lifted it a little bit and I think we can continue on with our continuing. I don't want to do any heavy lifting. I don't want to hurt my back. I don't want to make any, do anything I don't have to do. It's really fortunate that he still had these left over because I think they're like charging 50 bucks a pair on on the website and I just looked $2,200 2200 is what they charge for one of these brand new 78 inch King Cutter Disc Haro at uh, Rural King it's way heavier duty than my other disc. Lock washer and nut for each one. I'm gonna spare you the, the minutia here. We'll go to time lapse.
well I got them on it looks good I mean it's a weird yellow but it's on there and uh, got everything up tight definitely getting the tractor out solved the problem as far as having to lift anything heavy I do have a question for you guys though you know do you have any suggestions on which direction I should put this angle you see the front ones I've got the rear smooth discs uh, at a straight angle and I got these at a forward angle I can I have a choice of four things straight basically it looks like and then uh, progressively more V like a reverse V sort of with those cutting I don't know if that's the haro part so I got the rear straight I don't know if that smooths it out and kicks it back to the center after these cut it up but the rear disc plate is 18 inches and the front I believe is 20 supposedly but when I'm measuring it it's actually measuring 18 so I don't know if it's if I'm measuring that right yeah mine looks more like I don't know how to measure them but both look like they're 18 and 18 but we got this one all put together that's a project I've been waiting on I primed this after sanding it priming it painting it painted this apparently was supposed to be this color originally but obviously it's faded but I don't know you tell me I've spent probably a hundred bucks worth of gas going down and back and then I forgot to pick these u-bolts up oh, at least 50 bucks so that's 200 bucks so I spent a hundred bucks gas four hundred dollars picking it up so that's five hundred dollars and I'll get the bill for these uh, three by three inch uh, pipe uh, or tube steel uh, that I purchased I think that was right at two hundred dollars cut to sh size and the hole drilled and I had to buy a 20 foot section so I have a about a four foot section these I believe were 30 some inches long 38 uh, so I have like a 40 foot 40 inch section and a, almost a 10 foot section that I'm going to use for another project on the farm so I have that leftover steel so let's say we got a hundred bucks into the steel manufacturing. So we're up 400 plus a hundred gas plus a uh, hundred dollars for the steel. We're up to $600. That's just about 25% of the price of one brand new. And to be honest with you, I think it's going to be, I mean, even used if you could find a heavy duty disc, this thing weighs 900 pounds. I think it's going to be a great project, especially for a food plotter. Someday maybe I'll have a transport disc uh, and pull something eight, ten foot. Uh, but right now, it's a good step up for me, and I can't wait to get the food plots going here shortly. So we'll get to work on the next project. <laughs>